so hello everyone i think remember in the last session we did uh, window right window air conditioner in today's session let me continue with the split okay split air conditioner in that split you'll find different types so we'll talk about split in that uh, we'll also we'll also discuss the different types of split and next we have a ductible split package etc okay so let me continue with the split uh, Air condition system so the name will give you some idea okay so you see if you compare window with the split in a split air condition system the four components what we discuss the four major components what we discuss in window is going to divide into two different units in a split air condition system so we'll discuss all in detail so the first point is why the need of splitting that components into two units because uh, you see we have we are getting the cooling from the window so the first point is why the need of splitting that four components into two units the major reason why the need of split but before this let me share the screen here you can find an image just over initially then we'll discuss in detail in this image you can find out this is indoor unit and this is cu condensing unit or outdoor unit outdoor unit okay so in outdoor unit you'll find compressor and condenser and uh, even expansion device also and indoor unit you'll find evaporator okay i'll i'll give you the detailed information about the components at this level just i'm i'm dis i'm discussing in general to get the idea why the need of splitting this why, why the need of splitting these components into two units okay so this is a indoor unit and this is a outdoor unit and in general this indoor unit we used to call fcu nothing but fan coil unit and this file coil unit unit is common for split system for vrf system even for chill water system okay so we have a separate topic of fcu after completing this uh, package before dealing with the chill water system we'll discuss the difference between fcu and ahu okay so remember this unit we can call as fcu fan coil unit or in general indoor unit so the major reason why the need of splitting this for this components into two units is to reduce the noise okay i think remember in the last session we discussed about the window and in window in under the disadvantage of window we discuss noisy type of machine right because the compressor is close to the condition space now so whenever you use that window a window ac you'll get the noise from the compressor okay and you know noise also one parameter for maintaining the air conditioning now so if you this split this components into two units one can reduce the noise because in outdoor unit you'll find the compressor okay and the noise and the vibration from the compressor now so that we are going to separate in a, in outdoor unit which we are placing outside the space mm -hmm. outside the building so so one can reduce the noise this is the major reason hmm. apart from this we have some advantages and some disadvantage also for this but the major advantage of split is one can reduce the noise compared with the window okay for, for, mm -hmm. for window we can we can put the like the partition wall like in between in between there is a room mm -hmm. so we can put that window uh, i mean window is in that part in between room but this split can be put right this is an advantage no no you see we have a list of advantages at this level what i discuss is only the major point okay we have a lot of things to discuss don't do the conclusion at this level so here you see split ac also known as split system or the split ac in actual practice and this also comes under unitary system window split both comes under unitary type why i'm talking about this unitary because you see if you talk about the ductable package etc that comes under central air conditioning system in that sense these two units we can consider as a unitary unitary means the unit wise as per the zone requirement and here i request to make a note of this point please make a note uh, zone refers to thermostat 
zone refers to thermostat i will discuss in detail i'll give you the quick idea for the zone for example because repeatedly i'll use this term zone that's the reason you must aware of this for example consider a floor with say multiple rooms for example total say six rooms one two three four five six okay so in general we used to call room technically for mechanical or electrical we used to call spaces okay so these are all total six spaces and in each space i'm going to use a split ac suppose split ac one two three like so on four five six and for this we have a separate outdoor for each unit so you see in this case number of space is six and in each space i'm using a separate individual split system mm. so zone also six because one space one unit means one control na? means one thermostat on and off individually can operate all these rooms in case if i use a central ac and if i use a package or a or a ahu and if i connect all this with the one unit i'll show you how exactly just this level focus on the zone so just by some means if i cover all this space with the one unit in that case number of space is going to be six but zone is going to be one so remember zone refers to thermostat how you're going to control the spaces if all the space is going to control with one unit means one thermostat so number of spaces six but zone is going to one in this case it can be 10 space 10 20 space whatever as per the as per the space as per the project requirement so i think got the idea of what is the zone in space online yes we'll discuss with more detail don't worry at this level just so now you see what are the different types of split so the major point, the, the split consists of what? An indoor and an outdoor compared with the window. And remember, if you talk about the four major components, what we discuss in vapor combustion cycle, the same we use in window. Na? In split also, you'll find the same components. I'm talking about the major components. So if you talk about the four major components, compressor, condenser, and expansion, you'll find in outdoor. And in the indoor, you'll find evaporate if you talk about the main components in the latest models. If you talk about old models, expansion you'll find in the indoor unit. Okay, why and why now in market they are using the expansion in the outdoor unit? There is the reason we'll discuss. Let me uh, let me just complete this theory part first. So now if you talk about the different types in split, you'll find uh, and number of types but most commonly in actual practice you can find high wall you see on screen this is high wall and this high wall cassette or this tower is based on the fcu you see as a cell in general this we can call as fcu in a fan coil unit and coil refers to the cooling coil so this high wall cassette and the floor stand or tower is based on the fcu the outdoor is going to be same for all the three types means the concept is same but the type of indoor is going to be different nothing but fcu according to the interior requirement or the site condition or the clearance or interior requirement so if you know the mechanism of high wall the same principle is for cassette as well as for tower i'll give you all this detail don't worry so there are three types most commonly in actual practice high wall you can find on screen next is a cassette let me just show you the preview this is a cassette i'll show you in detail with us uh, with small video clip also this is and you see this is again connected to the outdoor and this is ceiling suspended so high wall is a is going to install on the wall above six feet as per standard and the ceiling mounted is a cassette and this tower or floor mounted quickly let me show you the preview we'll discuss in detail tower is like a vertical unit you can find on the screen you see these are this is called tower or a floor stand some used to call free stand also but i'll not recommend to use the term free stand because once you install you cannot you cannot move this like air cooler because again this also connect to the outdoor unit 
apart from this you may find the ceiling suspended type or else you'll find a floor mounted fcu or you'll find one way cassette two way cassette different models are available in market but most commonly in a split you'll find high wall cassette and the freestand so first let me complete this high wall so you can find the first type in this is a high wall and why we are calling high wall because we are we are going to install on the wall with at least above six feet height from ffl ffl if you don't know please make a note it's a finished floor level in in short we used to call ffl we'll discuss about this terminology at the time of building survey so final finish level of floor is called ffl from ffl not less than six feet above six feet only because if because up to six feet we are considering as a comfort sorry occupied zone why what what is occupied zone you'll find the time of topic called a distribution so next what are the components in indoor you see in this high wall this is called fcu so first we'll talk about the components inside this then the components of this outdoor unit okay so i've given the list here let me read this first everyone aware of this evaporative coil we'll discuss now at the time of a program recycle i'll show you the fins and the coil in a small video clip which is common for condenser as well as for evaporator so in the indoor unit you'll find evaporative coil you'll find the blower cross flow blower blower is a type of fan i'll show you in the video give me a minute you'll find the air filter to clean the air at the time of suction you'll find the blower motor which is used to run that blower means the fan you'll find the control panel which is used to operate the remote control and other function like uh, the current and all the power next drain tray at the bottom which is used to collect the condensed water you know in on your particular you'll find the condensation of water no? so at the bottom yeah. you'll find a passage which is used to collect the water we used to call drain tray next supply and return outlet don't worry just let me read this i'll show you all this in the picture as well as in the video next a deflection motor a motor inside a small motor which is used to operate the swing blade at the outlet and you'll find the swinging blade which is connected to a small motor remote control everyone know this and suction and liquid line outlet okay which will connect to the with the copper pipe and that copper pipe we are going to connect to the outdoor and why we are calling suction liquid line that also we'll discuss so these are the components for indoor in the high wall similar components will find in other units also the shape and uh, the position may vary but the component is going to be same next if you talk about outdoor unit as we discussed at the beginning of the session compressor you'll find the compressor no doubt condenser which is used to reject the heat so that must be outside in the outdoor unit only now expansion device in modern in present market split system you'll find this expansion device in outdoor only in some models or in older models you'll find this in indoor now the point is if you place this expansion valve in the indoor you know it's after expansion the pressure drop now after expansion only we have this low site then why we are using the expansion device in outdoor you see the concept of split is for what to reduce the noise now compared with the window so if you use this expansion device in indoor unit what will happen you'll find the hissing sound because at the time of expansion the refrigerant is going to be supplied with a very narrow cross section to the wide cross section area no? so you'll find the hissing hissing sound so again that will to reduce that hissing sound in present market you'll find this expansion device also in the outdoor unit okay in old models you may find in the indoor also or in some models some some makes they are still adding in the indoor but if you talk about high class like daikin uh, in daikin you'll find the high class models or in many makes standard makes you'll find in the outdoor only next a separate fan motor which is used to run an axial fan which is used to cool the condenser it means for condenser condenser fan next electrical components again for power supply and providing the power to all these components again liquid and suction line which is common in both the units because interconnectivity of the pipes you see drain outlet is going to be a part of indoor next let me confirm all these components but before this i'm going to play a small video clip you'll get the idea about this coils 
it can be a cooling coil or it can be a condenser in both you'll find the copper tubes and the fins okay so i'm going to play the video first let me confirm this calls coils then in other video we'll will i'll confirm all the other components <laughs> one essential component in air conditioners must be the heat exchanger in its dual application as a con can you see this copper tubes and you see this copper tubes with a bunch of fins you see this thin plates is called fins and as a mechanical you know the purpose of fins right this fins is used to increase the rate of heat transfer by increasing this surface right surface area. so this is uh, common for any heat exchanger okay or this condenser or evaporator in general is a heat exchanger only no? this tubes you'll find with the copper and fins with the aluminum this is a default configuration in actual practice in some models you will find copper tubes copper fins for the models which is going to use in high humid areas or apart from this in market you will find copper tube blue fins or some additional coated fins which is used to increase the life of this because this if if you talk about this heat exchanger the same heat exchanger you can use as we can use as a condenser in outdoor unit so if the outdoor unit is placed in the humid areas if it is aluminium the life is going to be less so in that case even the fins also you will find means made up of copper or with the additional coating that depends as per the model but if it if for interview point of view the default configuration is copper tube aluminium fins denser as well as evaporator changing from smooth bore copper tubes to internally enhanced inner groove tubes enable to move towards higher efficiency heat exchangers the process of coil making includes the use of you see this process called drawing process and remember the copper tube is a welded and seamless huh? the copper tube is a seamless pipe not welded pipe air pin tube cutting and bending machines which draws the tubes from the copper reels cuts them to the required length and bends them 180 degrees alongside is the fin pressing where the punching of holes corrugating of the surface and cutting to the required dimension takes place fins are then collected end plates attached and hairpin tubes inserted thus forming the heat here you see you can consider this heat exchanger as a three coil heat exchanger you see one row second and third so it's a three coil or three row heat exchanger you may find one row two row three row four row depend as per the capacity or as per the model exchanger coils coils are then moved to the mechanical tube expander where mandrels are inserted to each tube which mechanically bond the hairpin tube to the aluminium fins the return bend machine fabricates copper return bends or elbows from copper reels and then the brazing rings are inserted mechanically One final step completes the circuiting loop for the successful flowing of refrigerant through the heat exchanger coils. Loaded onto the brazing conveyor. You see here we'll apply uh, heat and this process is called brazing. So to complete the circuit. Coils are fitted with elbows and brazing rings. After pressurization, coils move over to the automatic brazing furnace for leak free connections. Connecting the various air conditioning components requires accurately bent copper tubes. Utilizing CNC three-dimensional copper tube bending machines that conform to the hundreds of various coil connections permits error and defect-free production of volume and quality. Yeah, so you see the heat exchanger, what you observe in the video, is common for uh, not only for a split even for ductor split or for package or even for vrf you'll find this situation and the the procedure is going to be same now